Now, let us talk about two terms which are of great importance in a biotech community. And uh, those two terms happen to be one is dominance and the other one is stratification. Now, we have to talk about an ecosystem in terms of biotech community and within, an, within a biotech community we are going to see what is ecological dominance all about. Now when I say that a community has a dominant species, it refers to a species which has outmarked itself in a way that it has a greater number of organisms present in it and they have made other species subordinate to them. Okay. So we have, as a result of dominance, a dominant species within the biotech community which overtakes the status of dominant organisms and makes others subordinate in a way that it has greater cover in the community, it has a greater biomass, it has a greater height if we talk about plants. Alright, so these things make it dominant over the other subordinate species and such is the importance of the dominant species or dominant uh, species which belong to the community that the entire community is often named after the dominant species that is present over there. For example, we have pine forest. Now this community is named as pine forest because abundantly there would be growth of pinus in that particular region. Okay, Pinus is the species which dominates the given community to such an extent that the name of the community is given according to that particular dominant species. All the other species would be subordinate in terms of the cover and the biomass that the particular dominant species is providing in the community. So this is what you have to understand about dominant species it uh, enables the it not enables enabling would be done internally by the species itself it decides what type of animal species would be present in the given community so it is a decisive factor as well for the animal species in the given community example as I gave you that was of pine tree now we have the second characteristics that we have to study and that is stratification which till now you must have read if from here it was stratification I had not put it as T so we have stratification now what is is stratification arranging the community in vertical strata or you can say layers now when we talk about stratification let us take into consideration two ecosystems one being the forest ecosystem and the other one being the pond ecosystem in the forest ecosystem it is very clear that there are certain layers or you know strata according to the height of the particular vegetation that is present over there. So inside a forest what kind of stratification you are going to find? You will find the tall trees which would be angiosperms or gymnosperms. Then you would find shrubs or the medium sized trees which will not reach their canopy will not reach up to the tall trees. So you have medium sized trees then you have shrubs then you have herbs, then you have creepers, then you have mosses. So you are going to find all these different layers in a forest, whichever forest you are considering and if it is a tropical forest you are going to find abundant species present in these uh, layers. Now uh, what is the purpose of having stratification in an ecosystem do remember it is the characteristic which is responsible for diversification or you call it species abundance because of different layers present the species are specialized to survive in different conditions within the same ecosystem so 
it, you can make it out that the lower uh, plants they have to survive in lesser light availability and one important factor that decides the stratification in the given ecosystem according to the biotic communities which are present over there is light all right now when we are talking about light we get to know that the upper plants the highest strata will be sun loving while the lower ones would have learned how to adjust in uh, shady uh, conditions shady shade i mean that that shady okay now uh, that is related to shade this was about forest moving further we have another example that is of pond ecosystem where we talk about stratification and the lesson gets over after that you see supposedly this is the pond over here also you're going to observe supposedly this is the pond we are covering it over here also you are going to observe stratification and the stratification here again would be according to availability of light. All right. Now this is the zone where the coastal area or the shore area where the producers can grow abundantly and this zone is termed as littoral zone. Okay the base is also receiving abundant sunlight the larger part of the pond or lake that is completely exposed to the sunlight is known as limnetic zone consider it that there is insulation to this part okay sunlight is falling now what happens is take it other ways the if you change the orientation that would be better now the light is reaching till here this exposed part is limnetic zone okay the light would reach up to a depth and beyond that depth there would be profundal zone The base of the lake is termed as benthic zone. Now these are also layers. In the illuminated part there is region that is euphotic and dysphotic. Euphotic, we are considering, before I come to euphotic, we are considering this stratification in terms of producers, okay. We are considering uh, the plant growth over here. Here the plant growth is totally abundant because it is the surface. The lower part is also completely illuminated by the light. Till profundal zone, we have euphotic and dysphotic area. The euphotic area has abundant light, okay. The light penetrates till the profundal zone. In the dysphotic area, the light penetration becomes lesser and what happens is that the twilight like situation is persistent. Okay, in the profundal zone, it is almost dark. In the dysphotic zone, the plants or the producers which are present, they are not able to reach the compensation point in terms of light. While euphotic region has a light availability which is much beyond the compensation point so here the productivity is less here the productivity is more in the profundal zone you find no producers but yeah there are animals which are present and at the benthic zone also you find animals which are devoid of uh, colors they are usually black or gray in color this is completely dark region okay so what you observe over here that here also in the pond ecosystem or the lake ecosystem or a water body that we are considering whether it could be an ocean or if you know anything of greater size than that certainly not if it is an ocean then also we have stratification which is observed and this stratification here also enables the uh, survival of more number of organisms because there are layers present in the given area all right so this is about stratification and we had talked about dominance in the beginning so with this we come to the end of lesson